idiot box. Sometimes a sloppy mixture of all three. The hardest thing I've ever had to do is wrench the remote controller from his hands. It's the only thing he loves more than me. Probably because of the mute button. I could just go on and on and on and on about things. But look at me talking your ear off. Maybe he's right about that mute button. Just never mind. Dwayne, I'm sorry. I'll let you go now. Talk soon. Dolores' symptoms are aggravating. Doctors tell me it's become very hard to pinpoint the exact disorder. They tell me she's got symptoms of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, psychosis, dementia, and more. I don't know what to do anymore. It feels like the treatments are only making things worse. Today she told me she often hears her own voice whispering a sequence of five numbers through the baby monitor. She said it's the key to her inner house. What does that even mean?
Bring me my child.
Five, zero, three, seven, three.
It's just the new resident. The crazy one. Yeah, he's nuts. Always on drugs and alcohol. Don't mind him. He's probably out of it anyway. Everyone who lives here is fucked up anyway. Fuck him. Let's move on. Did you see what the batshit crazy old bitch did yesterday? Oh, I know, I know. I've seen her. Oh, shut up, you cancer-breathing microwave. No one wants to hear it from you or your toasted brain. Hey! Watch it with the toasting remarks. Anyway, I hear she's been walking around the house completely naked, like a fucking whore! Are you kidding me? What the hell's wrong with this old hag? Will you shut up? I'm trying to get some sleep here. Oh, boo-hoo! Big guy needs to sleep. By the way, you guys have been repeating the same walking around naked semi-joke for months now. I have some real news for you guys. Oh yeah? What's that, you twat? You're stuck with me. Don't you remember? I think if you'd had some news, I'd have heard it along with you. Yeah, right. You're sleeping 16 hours a day. My sources whisper me some great stuff. Your source is my ass. You're talking about that broom. You can't trust a broom, I tell you. Oh, quit your whining, big guy. Let us hear about the news. I heard. And saddle up. It's big news. I heard that the old woman murdered her husband in cold blood. <gasps> Not only that, but I heard that she plunged seven knives in his chest and that he's sitting dead in his study room. How crazy is that? Holy oh, holy shit. shit. I could have told you. Oh, that's what that no smells. It's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What took you so long, George? You know when tea time is, and yet you always find a way to be late. Were you in your study room again, scribbling nonsense and talking to your recorder? I'm beginning to think you love your work more than me. I know you tire of me. Oh, yes. I know you'd have me gone in a heartbeat if you could. It's just fine. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Would you be a doll and fetch me some of my special tea? You know where it is. I'll wait here, George. fear for the baby. She has become obsessed with him. She says she can always hear him cry over the baby monitor, even when it's off. She has trouble differentiating him from the dolls in the house. Once she threw a doll away, realizing it wasn't the baby. I am horrified at the idea that she might do the same to the baby, thinking she's holding a doll. I've got rid of all the dolls in the house, and now she keeps on calling him, never remembering where he is. I have to keep a constant eye on both of them. The only time I can get some work done is when she's sedated. It feels like a nightmare.
I knew it. <sighs> I'll show you, you damned scoundrel, what bread you're worth.
Dolores now has moments of severe psychosis. She loses contact with reality for long periods of time. She hardly remembers me anymore. She's lost her trust in me and it's becoming harder and harder to administer her treatments. She sometimes forgets where she is or even the fact that she has to wear clothes. She keeps on scratching her nails or banging her head on doors. She murmurs gibberish sentences and roams aimlessly around the house. The other day she even accused me of trying to poison her. I'm on the edge. I don't think I can take much more of this. How am I supposed to work, take care of the baby, and deal with her dementia all at the same time?